welcome to our very first circle time. Today we're going to be talking about butterflies. So I have a book about butterflies. We're going to sing a song about a butterfly. What letter does the word butterfly start with? B -b butterfly starts with the letter B. B for butterfly. Let's take a look at what we're going to do in circle today. First, we're going to say, hello. We're going to sing our hello song. After that, we're going to sing more. Can you show me more? Can you see it there? Just like the picture, more. After we sing the more song, we're going to When our book is all done, then it will be time to sing a song. I have an exciting song today. And then our circle time will be all done. So let's start by saying hello together. Are you ready? Wave your hand. Hello. Hello, hello, and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. And our hello song is all done. Let's take it off. What comes next? More. It's time to sing a more song. Show me more with your hands. Ready? The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be for your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends the more we get together the happier we'll be we're also going to be singing together since we can't be together as people we can still sing together so let's try that in our song are you ready the more we sing together, 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 the more we sing together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we sing together, the happier will be. Beautiful singing. Now our more song is all done. All done. Let's take it off. Now it's time for us to read a book. I have a very exciting book. But I need to get ready. I need some space for my book. So I'm going to move our pictures up, out of the way, so that we have space for all the things that are going to happen in our book today. My book starts I have a, whoa, I have a tree. This is my tree trunk. I made it with cardboard. You can make trees at your house too if you find some cardboard. And there's something on my tree. Something that's the color green. Hmm. You think about it. When you see a tree outside with something green on it, what could that be? There's a leaf 
on my tree. <gasps> uh, look up there. Do you notice something? I noticed something up there. What's on that leaf? Something little and white. could be an egg. Let's take a look at our book and see if it tells us. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. And it's nighttime. Are we quiet or loud in the nighttime? Here's our tree with its little leaf. <gasps> Look what's coming up. It's the sun. Here's the sun. When the sun comes up, it's daytime. Up came the sun and... Oh, look, that leaf is wiggling. Pop! Out of the egg came a little tiny... That is so weird. He's very small. He's a little caterpillar. There he is. And he's very, very hungry. Oh boy. He's got a hungry caterpillar. So, that little caterpillar went out to look for some food. Can you look around? Do you see any food? Hmm. On Monday, he found one apple. He found one apple. Mm, apples are delicious. There's his apple. And he was so hungry that he ate that apple right up. But he was still hungry. So he kept looking around for more to Tuesday, that caterpillar found one, two pears. Hmm. One and two green pears. And he was so hungry that he ate them up. But he was still hungry. So he went looking and looking for more to eat. On Wednesday, that caterpillar, he found boop, 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 one, two, three purple plums. Can you help me count them? One and two and three purple plums. That caterpillar was so hungry that he ate them all up. But he is still hungry. Oh my goodness, this hungry caterpillar. So, on Thursday, he found some Strawberries. Do you like to eat strawberries? I love eating strawberries. This caterpillar, this tiny little caterpillar, he ate, let me count, one and two and three and four. He ate four. Always ready. <gasps> he ate them all up. That caterpillar was still hungry. So on Friday, he looked around for more food and he found some oranges. How many oranges do you think he ate? Let's try counting. Are you ready to help me? Here we go. He ate one, 
and two and three. She's going. She's going. What comes after three? Three and four and five. She ate five oranges. Here he goes. He ate all five oranges. Whew, that's a lot of food. But that caterpillar was still hungry. Oh my goodness. So, on Saturday, guess what this caterpillar did? On Saturday, he ate one piece of cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Is that a little bit of food or a lot of food? It's a lot of food. He ate it all up. And then that night, oh dear, he had a stomach ache. Look at his little face. Do you think that caterpillar is happy or sad? Is he happy or sad? He's very sad. His tummy hurts. Ouch. He ate too much food. So the next day, he ate through one nice green leaf. And that helped him to feel much better. He ate all the way through. Look at all those little holes where he ate. He ate through the whole leaf. And then he felt much better. He was not a little caterpillar anymore. <gasps> he's not little. He's so big. He ate so much food that he turned into a great big caterpillar. That great big caterpillar built himself a cocoon. It's a little house called a cocoon. Can you say that word? Cocoon. He built a cocoon and he stayed inside. So quiet for more than two weeks. That's a long time. He stayed inside his cocoon, very quiet. And then, one day, it started to wiggle. <gasps> and wiggle. <gasps> Can you wiggle just like the cocoon? Ready? Wiggle, 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 and pop! Out of the cocoon came a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> that caterpillar turned into such a beautiful butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. One little butterfly sitting in the sun. She flew away and then there were none. Oh. And our book about the little caterpillar who turned into a beautiful butterfly is all say bye bye to the pictures. Bye bye caterpillar. Thanks for coming. You got a little stuck. Hang on. You have to say bye bye to this caterpillar. He doesn't want to go. He had so much fun today. There we go. Bye bye caterpillar. That means that our book is all done. Before we go, let's sing one song. The caterpillar felt so hungry, and then he felt sad when he ate too much food. But then at the end of the book, he felt very happy. Are you feeling happy today? I feel happy today. So I thought we could sing a song 
about feeling happy. Are you ready? You're going to need to use your hands. First, we're going to clap. Then we're going to touch our head. Blow a kiss. Are you ready? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. Where's your head? Touch your head. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. Touch, touch. Okay, this time, let's blow a kiss. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. Mwah! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. Mwah! And our happy song is all done. Let's take it down. That means that now our circle time is all done. Let's make a circle with our hands. Take one C and another C, flip them together and peek through. And you made a circle. Circle is all done, all done, all done. Circle is all done. And now it's time to play with your mummies or your daddy or a friend or your brother or sister. There's lots of choices. And you can tell them all about the little caterpillar who was so hungry and ate so much food. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.